This is the 18 inch DCM Technologies model IG180M vertical spindle rotary surface grinder with DC automatic downfeed system. Serial number 21610. And uh, moving in, we'll explain a few things, maybe take a walk around here. Control, main, main control panel, operator's panel, if you will. Got a uh, UAW DRO interface for the auto cycle, actually. This comes to zero and sends the machine back home about an eighth inch, so we'll get all, into all that in a minute. <clears throat> Up above here is, of course, the feed motor for the column and the hand wheel, which we can do any time, and it's all reading out right there. You've got your tilt gauge over here, the indicator for moving your head back and forth. And we've got a, a lock, which is now open, which uh, I guess we can probably move the spindle motor a little bit. So I'm going to leave it sit right there for auto cycle. And as you move down low, of course, you've got the reservoir for the uh, cable bearings. And we'll get back to the controls in a second. Coming around here, I've got my transformer on the floor here, converting my voltage to 230 for the machine. It's running an external filter system, paper filtration, and pump down below, which is not connected, nor is the uh, paper feed. As you pan up here, you've got the blower unit, this collector. I can turn that on effect while you're standing there. That's that guy there. And uh, coming across from the coolant system, we can open this up, the main panel. Again, 230 volts. And that's the uh, new all interface unit right there. Works with the controller. Right to the right of it is the Mitsubishi PLC with the user uh, pots on there for controlling timers, I believe. Panning up, we've got the uh, small drive for the table and the large A500 mitz drive for the uh, spindle motor. That's all clean and in good shape. Up on top there, you've got your books, you've got a USB stick with electrical drawings and instruction manual. Coming around, we can try some things in manual mode straight away. Uh, we'll save the spindle and table for last. We need that for auto cycle. Coolant, of course. Turn it on. It's not plugged in right now. The chuck works okay. We turn that on. And I already tried it. It's solid. That thing works good and we can leave it wherever it's at or Go into DMAG mode, which is working well right there. And aside from the auto feed controls, we've got maximal sp maximum spindle overload, which works. We can put this wherever we want. If you get it down low enough, it'll actually cut the spindle off on the load meter, and the light will start blinking and let you know that you've alarmed out. So that works really nice. We'll just leave it up midstream right now. And more importantly, our jog control, which is incremental or Continuous. So incremental right now is times two. You hit it a couple of times. We're moving the numbers up there, as you can see, a couple of tenths. And if you go to times ten factor, it does just what it says it's supposed to do: 71, 81, 93, and times 100. Yeah, you'll see that hand wheel move now. Moving up and going down a little bit. And I'll go back to 25% for the left side, continuous jog would be this guy here. And go down a little bit. We'll do 50. And going down. And 100. Moving right along here. And down. Where are we at on there? Yeah, as long as we got room above the wheel, we're okay. We'll leave it sit right about there. And then we can call that home now for what it's worth and let's just say from here on with that we just touched off of our part I'm just going to set it up to take off like maybe 8,000 so we'll zero out X and call it 8,000 and enter that and that's what we'll feed in on so I'll start up the spindle that's right we haven't done spindle yet let me just run spindle by itself once we can play with that a little bit default RPM is 1800 that's where it's at now and we can bring that up and then you lock it in off of this button here so i'll take it up to 22 and turn it on and now we can just go with the pots here whatever control we want 24 26 
sounds nice. The only rattling you hear really is up on top here for the road reunion. It's not bad though. Let's go to 28. 30. 31. About 75 percent. We'll shut it down and bring it up one more time. At the same speed. It's breaking. Go right back up again. Leave it at 3100. It's right there. Come on back down to 24. And hit it. Oh, I'm sorry, that was at 18. Uh, default, you got me again. Default was 1800. So it, went, it sped back up to 1800, not to 23 or to 31. There's 31 again. Every time you shut the spindle off, it defaults to 1800. So we will shut it off and run the table once. Spindle break, table on at 15, which is about 25%. 50%. It's just about all the way up, 75, 80%. And back down a little bit. And we'll bring the spindle back online, then we can do a couple of auto cycles. We'll be good to go here. Spindle up. Again, 1800 RPM. I'm going to put it at 25. And quality for it, right there. 25. We're still at 8 thousandths. So we can feed the 8 now. And here's our predetermined feed rate. I can start off kind of slow here. I'm not sure what the number two constitutes, but we're going to feed at that rate. I'm going to hit auto cycle start, and when it's blinking or turns on, we are in auto cycle. When it starts blinking, that means we're doing the finish time or dwell, which in this case is 30 seconds. It should turn on now. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still manual. I should flip over. Yeah, automatic. We got to learn this control here. Here we go. Auto. We got it. Solid green. We are feeding now from the 8,000s. Really slow. Now we can pick it up a little bit. I'll go a couple notches up. It's a little bit faster. A little bit quicker. Go up to number five. Or half speed in this case. Was our zero. Now it's blinking. So we do our 30 seconds well. And at that point, you'll see that thing stop. And you might see the wheel if you're on camera or not. You'll see the wheel back up. And you'll see that back up to about an eighth of an inch. I think it goes about 127.128. And at that rate, we can play with it. Restart an auto cycle. We'll try one more after that in just a few seconds. goes 131 give or take right around an eighth of an inch and I think that's user settable off the PLC those pots down there but that's fine for now uh, for what it's worth then I can go to manual I would stop the table take a part off put the part back on and instead of doing the whole 132 I can just dial this thing down manually like this or of course go to rapid and just kind of bump it there we are 29 Wherever we want to stop at, there's 5,000. We can go a little bit heavier, 12,000. Go back into auto and hit it. Now we're still at half speed. We can go a little bit faster now, maybe seven, eight. There we go, seven. That's a pretty fast speed. See it dropping pretty quick here. Now we'll slow it down one more time just to see it. It's got a pretty fine feed on there if you really want to go in a couple tenths. There's three and five tenths. Three and two tenths, one tenth, so it takes about, about a good eight seconds to go one thousand. Coming back up a little bit, a little bit faster. There we go. Almost at zero. It always overshoots by a tenth or two. That's common with it. The machine does that. We're blinking again, sparking out, 30 seconds. And you'll see it all reverse back out of there. Go back to uh, about 127, 128. 
there it is, 133. That was a little bit off. So that said, that would be the end of that. Let's go back to the manual mode, shut off the spindle, shut off the table. We've already ran the air mist. We're good to go. It's a nice running tool.